What's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 6 career mode episode number 2. We're going to start off with our 250 West campaign today, but we're also going to start off by checking out the Supercross park, see the trainings, the workout sessions, and I guess whatever coach's quest is and kind of try to figure this all out. This is a, the newer part of the career mode where it isn't, I guess, just like right from the menu. I think you have to go to the Supercross park first. So yeah, we're just going to see what it's all about. Welcome to the Supercross Park. Here you'll have all the space you need to learn the basics and put your skills to the test. Every area is different and full of unique tracks. Explore them all to discover new jumps and activities. We built it all specifically for riders like you who want to become real legends. Now go to the park and get to work. Okay, so it looks like we start off just on the Supercross Park. McGrath gives us like a little bit of a tour kind this of thing This is your of it. pit, oh. your headquarters, where you can start all your Supercross Park activities, like the workout sessions, trainings, and Supercross Academy. And this is me. Come visit, and I'll have you join some fun missions I prepared specifically for you. All right, so we got to do a couple things. I'm going to start off by just going to Jeremy and see what Jeremy has to say about this uh, coach quest, I guess. Okay, so it looks kind of like the quests more have to do with what you do during your career mode, like two podiums, uh, two races completed, whips during your career mode, and nothing really about what you're doing on the compound. So, um, yeah, okay, this looks like training and some other stuff over here. So we'll go ahead and do, what is this, a workout session? Yep, all right, we'll start off with a workout session. All right, so it looks pretty similar to what we had in Supercross 5 where we have to go... Uh, find these different letters and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here. We're gonna find the S. All right, so we got the S in shape thus far. Uh, and I don't think we have to do these in order like the last game. So we're just gonna go get the P. Then we're gonna go over here and get the E. And it looks like we have to scrub that stunt jump, but I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. And we also have to do a front flip. Jeez, that sounds like it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult. We have plenty of time to figure this out though. So there's not an immediate rush. And I'm also getting to try out my Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki for the first time. Like the A might be in here. It is. All right. So over here, we got all of our shape. So I feel like I'm just going to go up to the top of the hill right now to do the front flip because there's a big downhill step down thing that would probably be the easiest to do the front flip off of right over here. I don't know how much air time I'm going to need to do a front flip, but I'd rather have more than enough. And I don't know how easy these are. I've never even actually tried a front flip in this game before, so let's see what we got. Oh. Well, that was it. I did a front flip. It doesn't count. What do I have to do? I have to do it off the stunt jump? Because this says scrub the marked location, not necessarily front flip off of it. So that's a bit interesting. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to land that? That's crazy. All right. Turn. All right, I did a scrub. Oh, it, oh it, it did count it. So then, but then why did my front flip not count? The front flip seems really difficult. Like that seems like a pretty burly thing to do in this game because it's not easy to just like lean forward and it happens. All right. Get a little bit more speed built up. Oh, nope. That wasn't it. I guess I just have to do it off of that big jump, but maybe get more of a run up to it. I'm not going to have much time to do this. I might only have one more opportunity to try it. All right. Let's get more than enough speed. We'll start back here this time. Get it over. Get it over. Get it over. How is that? Oh, okay, it counted. That was big time. All right, so our rider shape increases. Physical shape reset up 30 on everything. So our legs, our rider shape, everything is up. And that's it. I gotta say, that front flip was pretty burly. I, uh, I'm shocked that it has us do that. So I think that this is now, yeah, training. The midweek trainings off. So I think this time through what I'm gonna do with the trainings is just do them in order. Uh, we'll just get all the lion done and then get all the next thing done and all that. Uh, because in the past I would try to do like one separate training at a time, but I feel like this might be better to do it this way and just get them all 
ran through, completed, and then move on to the next one because some of them are a little bit more difficult than others. And then it just turns into this super long video where I'm trying to do the same thing over and over again, and I'd rather not do that. So the lion, if you don't remember this from past games, is basically just passing people. Um, you just weave through them. And this time it looks a little bit different, whereas instead of like gaining points for passing them, uh, there's like an objective finishing position that it wants you to be in, which is uh, first place. But I don't know if there's like a spot that we finish at because now we've made it to first place. So it's either gonna like have me be in first for a while or maybe there's a finish spot. In the past, the games would like denote a little like purple finish marker. So I don't know if that is going to be around the track somewhere or I guess maybe it might just be the finish line jump. All right, we made it all the way around and complete level one of the lion. Pretty simple in the end, and it is a finish line jump. Next training. All right, on to the step two of our training here, where again, it's looking pretty easy to just pass right into the lead. But as I remember about these trainings before, is that like level one, level two, level three, they get harder as you go on. So at like level 10, theoretically speaking, should be pretty difficult. I don't know that to be a fact, but in the past, that is how the games would work. So I'm going to assume that it's the same thing this time around. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. We'll have to find out together. So these tracks on this compound are basically just the pretty standard little small supercross tracks. There's nothing really special about them. And these have been pretty easy so far. What I do like so far is that as I click to next training, it literally just loads me to the next zone of the lion instead of having to go all the way back to like the main menu thing and click the next training. But these loading times could be maybe a tiny bit faster. I, maybe a small thing to be upset over, but could be a tiny bit faster. All right, so let's complete this one, the final one. See how easy it is to pass these guys. I will say this uh, particular track on the Super Cross Park compound is probably my favorite thus far. It's got a pretty cool like look to it being in this quarry. Pretty easy to pass these guys, but you know, it's it's a cool look. It's a actually not terrible like Supercross track. It's kind of boring because this section over here, I think is just a triple triple. But then the rhythm section after this, like if you go inside, I don't think you can bust this triple out of the corner. Right eh, maybe you could still do it because that jump is taller, but triple on off double through here. Like you got a couple different options that you're basically able to do or not do in each rhythm section, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna swing through this way and finish off this lap. All right, and now we're gonna finish off our final little phase of the lion and move along very nicely to the next phase, which should be round one of the championship. I did put us back in the uh, Supercross Park here. I'm just gonna check a couple things. I think this, what is this? Supercross Academy, yeah, we don't, we don't wanna do that. We've already done the little run through of that. So yeah, you've got uh, basically, You've got trainings, you've got uh, workouts, and you've got these quests over here with McGrath, which I think this time, like if I go over here, it'll say a couple other yeah. things are done now. Oh, it says, oh yeah, so yeah, the collector, like we found five collectibles before the time runs out, but I think, you know, it's like as each session goes on, you get some of these things done. Um, like I've, I've done scrubs, but again, it seems like you have to do the scrubs in the racing. And the unlockable is this stuff. So yeah, cool, eh, whatever. So now that we're back in here, you can see that our rider shape is perfect and we're just kind of like upgrading how perfect it is as we go along. We're at eight out of 10 or 80 out of 100 for pretty much all of them. And we do have some skill points to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get some of these things done. Each little uh, skill area kind of shows you what it's for. But now we have uh, these bottom levels opened up a little bit further now that we are in the uh, 250 career mode part of the gameplay. but. Obviously, we still have a long ways to go to unlock everything, and they, they cost a lot more as we go down there. But it just kind of shows it off. All right, here we go, folks. It is time for our first race of 250 West Anaheim 1. It looks to be a little bit muddy, but let's see how we do off the gate here going into the first corner, way around the outside. Everybody's going to push a little bit wide. And we also get to experience being on the factory team. I did choose to ride for Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki in this game. So we're gonna see how we do on this machine. And I kind of tried to keep it like semi-realistic. I chose a, a bell helmet, which obviously they ride with and then fox boots and stuff like that. But you can you can choose the boots and you can choose the helmet. So we could uh, choose a couple different options if we really wanted to. So far, looking a little bit easy with the AI. I was kind of hoping for it to be a little bit more of a challenge, especially because like my rider skill isn't fully upgraded yet. I'm doing the short race distances for the main events with no qualifying and stuff like that. So I'll always start on the outside. 
Ooh, getting a little sideways. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I have realistic AI on, so it should be very difficult. And from what I can tell from you guys in the comment section, the AI is not very good on any uh, platform or console. I play this game on PS5 and on PC. I'm playing on PC right now, but I've also played the game a little bit on PS5 and the AI feels exactly the same on PS5 as it does on here. So, yeah. I mean, it seems like they're a little bit too easy. Maybe a little bit harder in this one compared to the Supercross Futures, but still just too easy. It should be more difficult, especially because the 250 class is a pro class. It's not the 450 class with you know, basically everybody first through 10th being a 250 champion, which makes it arguably more difficult, of course, but uh, it still is a pro class, so it should, as such, have a, a difficulty level that's that's higher than this. And another thing that still bothers me about this is that this is a wet track. It's not necessarily a rainy track, but you can tell that it's rained and there's rain ruts and stuff like that. It's way too easy to jump stuff. The, the turns are maybe the only thing that are noticeable about the rain is that they're a little bit slippery in comparison but that's it like everything else is i don't know too easy so those are my only two grabs that i got right now but right now we just just got a big lead on dominic thurry chris blows Derek kelly carson mumford to name a few guys up there and putting in our laps out front seeing what we can do i will give a little bit of credit to the ai i suppose that i haven't like completely dropped them they're still only uh, 18 seconds back but i mean third lap of the race they should be definitely closer than this but i feel like on the supercross futures I don't know. I guess maybe because the tracks are shorter, it looked like I gapped them a lot quicker. But these guys are still only a couple rhythm lanes back. It seems like it's the rhythm lanes really where I'm gaining all the time though. Like I'm not hitting any big lines or anything, so to say, just hitting kind of the main rhythm lines, but it seems like I'm just pulling away from them lap after lap. Can you triple in right here? Yeah, so triple in, and then they would go quad single in this rhythm section in real life. Let's see if I can get that next time by. I do like the way that these rhythm lanes feel for sure. They're pretty well put together in my opinion uh, at least on this track some of the tracks have a little bit of wonky rhythm lanes but i feel like you can get a little bit offline in these rhythm sections and it still kind of ties together so as we come through here we're going to triple in and gonna bust this quad yeah we, we probably could i case that triple in a little bit but those 250 guys in real life were also busting that line so i feel like it should be maybe a tiny bit easier than that but yeah the rhythm lanes to me feel pretty good um, the way that the bike kind of flows over them feels pretty nice. The whoops are... Again, some people are going to just complain to no end about this, how this game looks and plays and stuff like that, and I get it. Um, but I feel like if you just take away some of the, the things that are the gripes that people hold about this game, the actual way that the bike hits rhythm jumps and stuff like that, and the way that you carry momentum through corners to clear rhythm sections, like tripling in versus doubling into a section and what have you, actually kind of works in this game just in my opinion um i know not everyone shares that opinion but in my opinion i feel like it does feel pretty good and to the people that i talk to that play this game like they enjoy the aspects of it that do work like that so i don't know not everything has to be all doom and gloom does it all right let's give it one last go here to bust this guy out triple in go for the quad oh that's that's pretty burly they maybe made that a little bit too far in real life that was a line though triple quad single White flag is out. Trying to wrap up the dub here at the opening round. So we'll have the red plates too. All right, final time through the whoops here on the last lap. Double in, third gear, triple on off of this guy right here. Just keeping it smooth, staying low. Feeling the flow. Shall I try one more time? Nah, I'm gonna case it, so we'll just do. Table over single, double into the corner and bring it on home to win the Anaheim opener in 250 West. Give the crowd a salute along the way. Good day, sir. All right, so we crushed it to win the first race of the year. Hunter Lawrence, Vince Freeze on the podium. I mean, that, that could be a realistic podium. That's not terrible. Hunter Lawrence, definitely a second place guy if I'm gonna take the win. I don't mind it. We've reached prestige level 20, so what else? Can we accomplish here? Going to be a pretty short video today. Just kind of wanted to get through a couple things. Come to the Supercross Park. All right, so McGrath wants us to come to the Supercross Park. We'll see what we did in our journal so far. Just knocked out a couple more things. And then, uh, oh, I didn't go through all that stuff, I guess. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Got to make sure that I, I show everything. There we go. Got all of our credits. Okay. Um, and then skills-wise... We got six points we can use, so we'll get that, we'll get that, and we'll get that. And so, yeah, just 
kind of doing it pretty simple for this first little video here. Um, when we come back next time, we'll do more of the training and we'll do the next two rounds, but wanted to just show off the, the training side of it and then the first couple rounds of the championship. Hopefully you guys uh, like this video. And if you have any more questions about the game, let me know in the comment section below. But I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.